How you guys doing? This is Ray and in today's video I want to discuss rewire. I made videos in the past on this subject. This is just an updated version, a refresh and we're using a new version of Pro Tools. For some of you guys out there that might not know what rewire is, well, rewire is going to allow you to run Pro Tools alongside Reaper or another DAW. You might be wondering why would I want to run Pro Tools and another DAW together. There's a lot of reasons why. Let's say I made a beat within Reaper and it's time for me to mix my beat inside of Reaper, but on the master, I like to put certain plugins. Reaper only works with VST plugins. There are certain plugins that are only AAX or if you're using an older version of Pro Tools, RTAS ready. And those plugins might only work for Pro Tools. So I'm gonna go to File, Open Recent Projects, created this project called Loop, and I'm gonna create an AUX track. As you can see, I already have a master bus there. I'll get to that in a second. Create an AUX input, then right on the inserts, I'm gonna locate Reaper and Rewire is gonna open up and I'm gonna exit all of this. Before I load my session into Reaper, I'm gonna minimize Reaper and I'm gonna go right here to Reaper and it shows you no output. What I wanna do, I wanna select the main one and two outputs, basically the left and right output. All of this isn't really important right now. I'll get to that in a little while. So let's just select those outputs. So one and two is selected. Another thing that's very important, you wanna match your settings. For example, your tempo, your grid, all of that. So everything's pretty much done. So you can see I got everything set up. My tempo's at 85. So in Reaper, I'm going to load my recent project. Let's do that. I have to give it a second there for it to load. And there you go. And the next thing I wanna look at is the FX, where my plugins would be. And as you can see, there's no processing. All right, so let's go back to Pro Tools. And before anything, I'm gonna play the session that I got here. Nice. As you can see, Reaper is wired right into this aux channel within Pro Tools. And that's pretty cool. So now I have a rough mix and I want to add some processing on my master channel because I like to do that. One of the things I definitely want to do is add a compressor to the master channel. Now it's my preference. I like to do this. Some of you guys out there might not uh, put anything on the master channel, but it's something I like to do. But one of my favorite compressors is Impact. Basically, it's an SSL emulation plugin. Only AAX. They do have an RTAS version, but it's still only Pro Tools exclusive. So what I would do, set this to auto. I'm going to keep the ratio for one, and we can mess with the attack. So let's just uh, see what's going on here. <music> pretty nice. So you see, that's one of the benefits of using Rewire. I can put a couple of more plugins, I could keep adding, and I don't really have to do anything inside of Pro Tools. I like to work in Reaper. I think Reaper is a fantastic DAW. And I really only use it for MIDI when I'm making beats and stuff like that. There's a lot of VST plugins that are not ported over to this format. And yes, you can use some type of wrapper and all that type of stuff. But you know what? I prefer just to run the DAW. Everything's going to run a lot smoother. Another benefit to doing this, let's say you had an exclusive plugin or an instrument that's, that only works within Pro Tools. You can do that. So let's create a track, stereo. And I'm going to look for instruments. And go to the instruments and go to expand. There was a time when this plugin was only available for Pro Tools. Let's say it was only a Pro Tools plugin, then we can still use it. So you get the best of both worlds. So let's get rid of this and let's go back to Reaper and check this out. So I already have this plugin in VST format. It's definitely one of my favorite instruments. Another plugin that I used to like that was only exclusive for Pro Tools was Hybrid. I think that's what it was called. I haven't used that program in many years. I never owned it. 
but I've got to play around with it and I thought it was a fantastic plugin. So in the beginning of the video, I mentioned that Reaper's using output one and two, and that's what you're hearing from this specific aux track. And you have all these other outputs. Now, what are those outputs for? You can do so much with them. Let's go back to Reaper. Let's say that you didn't want to use this interface. You wanted to actually capture the audio instead. So you can send the outputs of this specific track to these outputs here, and then you create tracks and you're actually capturing that sound. So instead of recording the MIDI data, you're actually gonna be recording the actual output of the sound, just like if you were recording drums or anything like that. So that's basically what it's for. I know I didn't really get into it and I didn't show you in this video, but I did make a video on that. I don't know if that video's available. If it is, I'll put it in the description. But if it's not, and if you guys wanna see something like that, just let me know, I'll be more than happy to create a video like that. So that is Rewire, basically you get the best of both worlds, ability to use Pro Tools and whatever DAW supports it.